Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of resin tortoiseshell earrings. Now, these are really cool. This is actually a, a kind of a vintagey look. So you've probably seen this before. So this is what we mean when we say tortoiseshell. So it's not actually tortoiseshell, it is made of resin. So it's kind of almost like a plastic, but it's really nice and thick and strong. And you get this beautiful light sort of shining through it and really, really fun. And what I love about these is these are nice and lightweight. So even though it kind of looks like it's gonna be a big of a, a little bit of a statement earring, they're nice and lightweight. So before I jump into my earring here, I just wanna kind of point out some of the other styles of the tortoiseshell that we have here, so that you guys can really see not only how different it is and how unique each piece is, but just how you can you know swap it out. So let's say if you didn't wanna do the rectangles here, you could do a nice oval shape there as something a little bit different, or if you wanted to add an extra link, you can see that this one here has one hole and this one has two, so you can make it even longer. So there's a lot you can do with this. You can add in all kinds of different things. That's another sort of little style of the link if you wanted to continue to go with that rectangle shape. Lots of fun stuff to do with this. So be sure to head over to beataholic.com and you can shop all of these beautiful elements and these are from Zola. So you can shop that brand and I've provided that link down below for you. All right, so let's get into making our earrings here. So we're gonna do a little glue here. So we're gonna be using some E6000 and we're gonna be doing our little glue on pads. And then really simply, we're gonna be using six millimeter 20 gauge jump rings to attach these. So this is gonna to come together really fast. We just need a couple pairs of chain nose pliers. And then for my glue, I have a little piece of paper here and a little toothpick there to help me. You can also use a little scrap of wire as well. All right, so let's dive into talking about our glue on pad here. So I've chosen silver findings, although I feel gold goes better with the tortoiseshell. But the reason I wanted to use this is this is actually a surgical steel. So this is gonna be good if you have sensitive ears. And my little bullet clutch here to end on the other side is hypoallergenic. So if you do have sensitive ears and you wanted to wear something lightweight, that's why I wanted to go with that surgical steel. All right, so it is a six millimeter pad there. And if you can just see, there's the hole at the very bottom. And what I wanna do is because we're gonna be hanging our earring from the bottom there, you don't wanna place this right in the center. You could, but what I would recommend is trying to scooch that up a little bit more towards the top there so that it's gonna hang a little bit lower. But it is entirely up to you, but that's why I wanted to give you the freedom here with this project so that you can kind of move that around if you do want it lower so that this sits a little higher on your ear. I know everyone has different um, earlobes, <laughs> so you can kind of uh, make this your own. So that's why I didn't want to use a bigger pad. And also this is lightweight, so that six millimeter is gonna be just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and actually attach it. So let's get some E6000 onto our table here. And we don't need a lot. Actually, I'm gonna screw that just a little bit more. There we go. And go ahead and take your toothpick and just get a little dab on there. And go ahead and add it to the top of our little pad. There we go. You can see that I actually scooped some off. All right, so now that we have that ready to go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it onto the earring pad there. And you do have a little bit of time to kind of move it around. And I'm gonna face this towards me here so that I can really make sure that it is nice and centered and mine is towards the top there. Beautiful. All right, so I'm actually gonna set this aside and we're gonna pretend that I did that on this one as well because I wanna move on to the next step. Now I will say this, E6000 does dry fairly quickly, but because it's gonna be on your ear, we recommend at least 24 hours before actually wearing um, the pair of earrings, just to make sure that it's nice and set. We don't want anything to happen to your earrings. All right, so we're just gonna take one of our jump rings here and finding that seam, let's go ahead and gently twist that open and we're gonna slip on our rectangle and the little hole there, there we go, sorry. The top of our earring. So just gently twist to close it 
And then that is the style that we have. And you can just pretend that I have that nice glue on back there. So that's kind of how it's gonna look and how it's gonna hang. So you can also do this step first and kind of see where it's gonna lay on your ear and then determine where you want that um, post to be. But that is how easy it is. I'm not gonna do that second one because I'm gonna let that part dry, but we're just doing a little jump ring and a little glue and we have a great fashion forward pair of earrings that's got a nice little vintage flair. So that is how to make a pair of resin tortoiseshell earrings. You can get all of these supplies by heading over to beetaholic.com and be sure to shop all the latest from Zola Elements.